Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Spunty's Tale. When we last left off, I changed my mind about going through the uh, Sarenid Sultana, so I'm just going to head to the Rodok Territories. The main reason why I've changed my mind there is A, I'm not going to be able to catch any of those dudes. They are all way too fast for my army. Even though we go 5.1, their average speed is going to be even faster. 5.1, yeah. There are... Th ooh, 779 dinars. They're going to be far faster than me. I haven't sorted out this armor either. Dushavi! You're 23.9? Uh, it's not that good. Ooh, it's a pretty good horse, though. Pretty good horse indeed. So let's head to Nara. Dump that off, and then head over to Swadia. Head over to the Rodox first, then to Swadia, and then to the Nordlands. Because I'd like a good mixture of Rodox, Swadians, and Nords. With some Kurgit lying around as well. That would be pretty good. So as I can see, lots of things are being raided and besieged. Tilbuk Castle's usually besieged around this time. So let's go armor selling. Oh, it's a normal step horse. It's actually quite good. Now that I think about it, what rank is my riding at? It's at four. Well, this is clearly an upgrade, isn't it? Excellent. 10, 40, 50, 1, 8 compared to 10, 40. It's got five more hit points. I suppose that's something. Can any of you have a better horse? What's your, uh, riding at? Your riding's at three. You can have my step horse. <laughs> Excellent. So you got a better horse now. My riding's at four. <laughs> my, uh, ideal dream is that I get a hold of a, um, heavy charger so that I can just roam around and conquer everything. Ah, my relationship with this guy has increased slightly. Wow. You are a bit far from home. There's no way I'm catching you up. With an entire army of Kurgit troopers, it's fantastic what you're capable of doing. Six forest bandits will join. Excellent, we'll have them along. Doesn't lower my speed much. They'll probably, some of them will probably run away during the night. Three of them, that's alright. I expected that, to be honest. And troops are ready to upgrade. Namely, the farmers. We need combat, really, to improve the uh, experience of a lot of these troops. Hopefully, we won't meet some Rodok sharpshooters, because trust me, if I meet Rodok sharpshooter deserters on the one... There's a big fight going on there that I just cannot get involved in. Because I'm not in either particular side. <coughs> They're getting a lot of prisoners though. That's the that's the, f the good part of being in a faction. The prisoners. You get so many prisoners. And considering that um, lords switch allegiances. E despite being on a different side. They will still magically get troops of their original faction. So you could join the Kurgit and like Swadian troops. And fight a Kurgit man. No, fight Swat. Um, you could be a Kurgit and like Swadian man. And you could then have uh, a war with the. Like, the Vegas. And they have a Swadian lord who magically has Swadian troops for you to capture. Because you can't go into Swadian territory if you're at war with them. Ah. Just deserters. Oh, 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 I must take these down. I must try. They are Swadian men-at-arms, and they are worth losing a vast quantity of my troops to get. You'll notice that they have manhunters amongst their number. That is because they are Swadian men-at-arms. They are horrendously powerful, and also horrendously expensive to maintain. I've got to keep them in my sights. I'm not faster than them either. So I've got to hope I'm lucky. 
and they stop enough times so that I can catch them. Because even if I manage to knock out a few of them, they will be worth it. I could potentially thin my numbers substantially trying to get these guys. But they are one upgrade away from the golden unit of the Swadian Knight. And I think he's working... He's working him... Oh, he's working himself into a hole! I don't think there's any way out of that. No, don't go that way! No! I want to actually fight you! Like the qu it's like a quest for the Holy Grail. Ah, ah, ha! Oh, come on! Eventually, I'll get you to the sea, buddy. You'll have no option then. You won't be able to escape. See, they're a mountain band. That's 31 of them. We could fight them. That'd be easy. Oh, come on. What's the morale of my team like? Above average. They'd be great after we actually defeated this. The only problem is, it'll probably it'll take days for me to chase them deep into the heart of enemy territory. And by enemy territory, I mean any territory at all. Because everywhere is full of... Ah -ha -ha. No! Oh, come on! Oh, I was so close. Yes, they turned around! Oh god, they turned around! Hold position, everyone. We want these guys to come to us. Cavalry, heroes, follow me. Right, let's think about this. They're sort of coming this way. So what I do is I hope that my lance will be capable enough to get them. Come on, people. They'll be over that hill within moments. This is going to go horribly wrong. There they are! Extremely good horses. That's what I'm hoping to get. Oh, you killed one. No. We want some of them unconscious. Come on. Stop killing them. I want one. Amazing that we have a Amazing that we haven't actually lost anyone yet. Come on! Yes! We got at least one! This makes the whole thing worth it. Who cares if we lost the step bandit? We got another one too! Trust me, these guys are worth their weight in gold. Losing one man and having two wounded just to capture two of them? Worth it. Plus, we get two manhunters for the deal, four farmers, and a peasant woman. And some silly hats. You know, it's a short, rusty arming sword. I mean, that's actually not bad. And we get people upgrading again. Farmers becoming watchmen. You know, this is it's not bad at all, that. Yamira, it'll be you that needs the, uh, the equipment, because your helmet is not that good. This helmet is much better. What about the arming sword? 29, 23. Actually, I'd be tempted to have you keep the one you've got, actually. Keep the one you have. However, that was an unparalleled success. <laughs> We actually have a few Swadian man-at-arms in our party. And that's really good. I think I saw some looters, or no, mountain bandits around somewhere. But we'll go to Yalen, because that was a good, good success story. 
They all wish to join my party. Yes, the, the men at arms will join. That is absurdly worth it. Come on, you guys. We're already paying 30 dinars a week for them. But look, just look at the fact that they are in such heavy armor. Such heavy armor. And people are ready to upgrade. Not awesome people, mind you, like watchmen and camp followers. But eventually they'll actually be quite good. We also have some uh, oh, mounted uh, manhunters who can help me knock people out. The sea raiders are really high up. I suppose they can be really high up there, can't they? Rather than really high up anywhere else. So that was a success. <laughs> There are some mountain bandits. I think I want you guys to join my troop. One of the Swadian men at arms left, but one stayed. <laughs> that whole fight was completely worth it, just for that one man who chose to hang around. To hang around. However, those guys we can let go. Oh, there's a tournament going on here. Hmm. That's always good. I like tournaments. We need goods. They're eating through our food supplies quite uh, quite quickly, actually. Hmm. Do I have time this video for a tournament? Oh, why not? I'm sure I can blitz through it. Join the tourney! Bet on myself! Let's go! What kind of tournament is this? Oh, no. It is a, I'm going to stab people with a, with a sword. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Being, being Rodok. I love that sword. Thank you. Being Rodok, they have a big emphasis on ranged weaponry. Which is good if you have the better ranged weapon people. It's not good if you don't, of course. And the crossbow, like, the crossbow one is so much better. They get a crossbow and a sword. Archery? Nope, you just get a dagger. Who is participating? Dranton is. He's the only interesting guy that is participating in this tournament. Dranton. Hey, they gave me a shield and sword this time. Sword and board! Not a good sword. Not a good, not a good board. But, you know. That was high blade. So, do I have, like, four practice, like, tournament clothing sets? I don't like the idea of these people just, like, swapping all of their clothes around every time. It's really, really inefficient. Ow. You're gone. You are really gonna... Ow! I highly doubt that practice bolt was what was actually, you know capable of knocking people unconscious. I think that practice ball was going to kill people. Internal bleeding and all. Oh, you gave me a crossbow, didn't you? Mm, great. Fortunately, that person has absolutely no idea what they're doing. Decided to just ignore the man sneaking up on her with a sword. You and I, regular fighter, will take on the world. Except I'm going to win this tournament. So, more dinars? More fight- oh. I'm on foot. Oh my word! I need that sword. Hand me that sword. I wish to stab this man repeatedly in the thigh. And then his horse. Ah. They were pretty fast. Next round! Yes, they got me on a horse! Victory is pretty much assured now. <laughs> you have a crossbow. No, a bow! Well, you're soon about to be unconscious. Yep. Unconscious! Last fight, I think. Me versus. Oh, it is regular fighter! Come on, regular fighter! Show me what you've got! 
You have a bow. Do you know what? I'm feeling... I'm feeling honourable. Come on! I'll even let you get first blood. Oh well. I see you've had a change of hairstyle on your beard. But you have still lost. Spunty. Did I level? I think I did. Wow. And with that, we shall leave this video. And when we come back, we shall try and get some more Rodokian mountain bandits. Head through to Swadia. And then stock up on sea raiders. <laughs> like you would bird's eye fish fingers. Because they're from the sea. Catch you later, folks.